hope you had a great week. It is the coziest, rainiest, gloomy day outside, which is perfect because we are decorating for Christmas. If you've been following me for the last year, you know that I was supposed to be in my house by last Christmas, and I was so bummed because my house got delayed about four months, and so I wasn't able to be in here last year during this season. I had all these ideas of ways I wanted to decorate my house, and I wasn't able to do them. And so this year, that excitement has just been building up. I have been waiting for for this moment and the time is finally here. This year is also going to be super special because my family's actually coming to Nashville for Christmas. We've had Christmas back at home where I'm from in Washington for pretty much as long as I can remember but now that I have a house here in Nashville I'm hosting Christmas which is going to be so sweet and so fun and oh. I'm just so excited. So I have to get the whole house prepared and in Christmas mode for when my family comes. We are literally starting from scratch because I had absolutely nothing. I think I had like four ornaments from when I lived in an apartment, but other than that, I had to go shopping for everything we're decorating with today. Because this is my first time I've had a house to fill, which is an entirely different process. It was so fun and I can't wait to decorate with you. I will do my best to link as many decorations in the description box below as I can, but I will warn you, I've been picking up things here and there pretty much all year as I see them because I really don't like shopping and so I knew that if I tried to do all my shopping at once I would get too overwhelmed and so I've been picking up little knickknacks as I see them throughout the year and I might not remember where everything is from but I'll do my best if you're looking for something it'll be in the description box below but before we get started I want to know down in the comments what your favorite Christmas tradition is I know my family has some traditions that we do every year that we absolutely love and it just makes it feel like Christmas and I love learning about you and your family. So drop a comment down below, let me know what you guys do, and we'll get started. I just got this mug at Target and I think it's the cutest thing ever. How sweet is that? That's perfect. Okay, let's get to decorating. Hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out. Without freezing Yeah, isn't that amazing In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Doesn't matter if the snow is falling decorated it's time for the final tour of the house starting with the living room this is probably my favorite room that's decorated in the house just because i love how everything came together i went with like a neutral cozy christmas vibe got some woodland creatures kind of going along on my tree but it's just perfect how all the greens of christmas tie in with the green theme i already had going on my couch i found this throw in these pillows at target this little gingerbread man, he was a spontaneous purchase and he, I think, is my favorite decoration this year. I got him at Pottery Barn. My tree I got from Hobby Lobby. It's pre-lit and literally the easiest thing to set up. And I just love all these little critters. My last name in French means fox. And so I added a few foxes just for cute little personalized touch. We've got some acorns, got the moose up there, tiny little black bears. This cutie little squirrel and just ugh, all the critters. These Christmas bears I found at the Christmas place, which is a Christmas store we have here in Mount Juliet. 
I found these in July. They were 50% off because they were doing a Christmas sale during the summer. And I got two of them. And these wooden trees I got from Home Goods. Put some garland on the mantle that I got from Home Goods. My stockings are from Pottery Barn, and I decided to switch them up. I almost made them all for these, but then I saw these and I thought it was so beautiful. And the trees just kind of went along with everything I was doing. It's perfect. And then I found the cutest stocking holders also at the Christmas Palace in Mount Juliet. I'm not sure if they have an online store. I will look, but these came from there. Here's another one of my Christmas bears with a wooden tree from Home Goods. This nativity, I haven't quite figured out what I'm gonna do with it yet. This is kind of the only place it goes, but there's like an awkward space here. So I might get like a present box and put it there and then set it on top just to fill this space a little bit better. I must call out this candle from Target. I'm sure you have probably smelled all the smells of the lovely candles at Target, but if you haven't tried this one, this is the forest spruce one and it's so delicious. It's making my house smell so amazing. Okay, I just did a little bit over here in the dining room, not too much. I found these cute little reindeer at Home Goods and just set them on my little centerpiece. I might add more later, but for now, this is what we got here. Okay, I'm really excited about this next part. On top of my cabinets, I was debating between putting some garland or random Christmas objects, but then I had the idea of doing a Christmas village, which is what I went with, and I'm so excited because every year I can add to it. And so I'll show you close up, but I got a bunch of those like brush bristle trees. Then I actually found a lot of my village pieces at Walmart. One of you on Instagram told me to go to Walmart to search for my village. I was thinking I was gonna have to order or something online but Walmart literally had everything I needed so it's not completely full yet but I wanted to leave some room so that every year I can find new pieces and keep adding and building my whole village up on top Okay, here it is a little bit more close up I got the white little village houses and churches kind of as my base and then they found all these cute little unique ones to fill in it's so cozy this one's really cool they all light up but this is a greenhouse I don't know if you can see the little guy in there with all his plants. And then on this side, we've got a few more little houses. We've got the post office and some more trees and the school. I found this little nativity at World Market and I am in love. It's so simple and so sweet. So I've just set it right up here on my windowsill. Okay, now we're in the upstairs living room. It's kind of fun to have two living spaces upstairs and downstairs to decorate because downstairs I wanted to keep it all coordinated, neutral Christmas, and then upstairs I wanted to make it a little bit more like classic Christmas vibes. Growing up, we always had a green tree with red lights and red balls, and then we put all of our favorite like family ornaments and special ornaments that we get every year. They were all just kind of like a random hodgepodge, and I just feel like there's something so nostalgic and sentimental about that that I want to incorporate that in one of my trees in my house and so I love that I have space up here to have a second tree where I can do that so someone on Instagram sold me a pre-lit eight foot tree but turns out my ceilings aren't eight feet and I didn't realize that until after I'd already bought the tree and already gotten it in my house <sighs> for a second I really considered cutting a hole in my attic to make it fit because it was a magnificent beautiful very large tree but I think I'm gonna sell it and then I went to Target and got a different one this one is the proper size but look how pretty this one is seven and a half feet I believe and I decided to get a flocked tree just because I've never had one before and I wanted it to be snowy I don't always know if we're gonna get snow in Nashville so this is a guaranteed sure way we would get snow since college I've been collecting these little mini Starbucks mugs of all the different locations so this one one's Disneyland. I've got a Tennessee one there. California. Washington, where I'm from. New Jersey, from when I competed at Miss America. Oh, look at this little guy. Sheep are my fourth favorite animal. I think he is so cute. And then look at this one, y'all. <laughs> I got this on my last trip. This is Bucky. Please tell me you know what Bucky's is. Okay, so I'm loving the classic red Christmas. And then look, boom. We got red over here too. I found these cute little peppermint swirl pillows at World Market. This pillow here in the middle came from Target. That's a red throw that I've had for forever. And then let me know if you remember the video I made two years ago when I lived in LA, our sugar cookie video where I'm calling Santa. 
This is the phone from that video. I'm pretty sure I found it at Target. I thought that added a nice little touch. And that's pretty much it. I hope you loved decorating for Christmas with me. This was so much fun. Now I feel so cozy. I just want to make some hot chocolate and curl up on the couch and watch a Christmas movie, which I probably will do because it's still super gloomy outside. But I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Comment down below. Don't forget to tell me your favorite Christmas tradition and any other videos you want to see on this channel for the rest of the year. We only have a few weeks left, so let me know if there's something specific you want to see. But thank you so much for joining and watching this week. We'll see you next time. Bye!